I had this crazy idea. I, I mean, I thought it was a pretty good idea, but it was a little, little, yeah. There, there's something wrong with me. So the brilliant idea is uh, to incorporate the, the design of a, a pocket poo nanny into a burner nozzle. Don't, do not, do, don't ask me how my, my I, I don't know. I probably need to be committed, but so I've actually attempted this. I don't know how to make these things. I don't know how they're made. I found a uh, mold because I didn't want to go spend $50 on one or however much they cost uh, just to mess it up but um yeah so i downloaded a mold and i figured i would dumb down to some silicone and dump it in there and then get it out and i could pump some smoke through it <laughs> pump some smoke through it <laughs> anyhow so i could put some smoke through it and see how it actually turbulence and stuff like that and well it didn't work out it, you know this stuff just it leaked out and you know it's about half full I, I might could use that for something that, no, really. I mean, that was just a stupid idea. I don't think that this would have worked anyhow. So I am trying to figure out something different. So what I've done is I've separated this little thing that's got all the uh, swirls and all in it. And I will uh, I will try to use that to create a core so that I can build a brass nozzle. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. But today's not lost. So... The brick is pretty much dry. That sodium betonite and uh, coal slag brick that I made. I'm not putting sodium silicate on this because I don't want this big bastard to melt in there. Uh, it's almost there. It just needs to dry a little bit more. And we're going to, uh, well, no, fuck it. We're just going to throw it in there and do it. All right, so I got it, I got it in there. We're going to crank this up and, uh, oh, boy, what am I doing? I need to be safe. Put that down. I wouldn't want to fall on that. Okay, now we're just going to give this a... I don't know. I melted all that other crap in about an hour. Give it an hour, but not running so hot. You know, I didn't even pay attention to what time it was when I started it. It's, uh... Red heat right now, and it looks brighter than that. Y'all, but it's not, it's at about a red heat. So, uh, I'm gonna let that go for let's say another 30 minutes, and I'm gonna shut it down and I'm gonna let it cool all the way off. And then I'm gonna really pump the freaking heat to it. We'll get it like yellow, and then we'll shut it off and we'll let it cool down and see what we got. But thus far, let me tell you what I see right now because I know y'all can't really see it that good. I am seeing it looks exactly like it did when I put it in there. Um, I don't see any cracks at all. Um, maybe? I don't think that's what that is. No. No. The surface looks almost... That's just the uh, thing here sucking the heat out of it. Yeah. So yeah, no cracking yet. Now I got about 18 more minutes and we'll shut it down. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Let's shut this shit down. And let it cool off. And we're going to check real quick to see what we look like here. Get over there. Alright, we don't have any cracking. No cracking so far. Nothing's fell apart. It does look like it's warped a little bit. That could just be me, though. It was sitting on that block over there, but... Yeah, we're going to let that completely cool down, and then uh, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to fire the shit out of it. Well, it's holding heat about the same as the forge lining is. That's, uh... That's interesting. Okay. Let me drag it out of there.
It making noise. Don't bust in my face. I didn't think about this being cold. Sucking the heat right out of it. Let me set it down. <laughs> kind of warping the blade up a little bit. All right. You see a lot of that coal slag. Doesn't quite have a sheen to it. There again, it does. That's interesting. All right. And there's still big pieces of cat litter that did not dissolve all the way in the water. Okay. Let's get it flipped over and look at it. All right. So here's the back side. All right. And I do have a crack right here where it looks like I told you it looked like it warped up. And some of that could be because it was not 100% dry. Um, it probably should have dried about another day. And it would have been ready. But And uh, this is clay, so it, it's not like it got fired at proper temperature. But getting fired now, we're going to stick it back in there, heat it back up. And uh, let's see here. Um, see a little bit of melting, not a whole lot. Put it back in there. It's interesting. I got it rolling now. I got that needle valve opened up so much the regulator can barely tell if there's any pressure there or not. So uh, I gotta get a better regulator system. But uh, it's opened up. It's. I mean, I'm pumping some stuff to it now. It's hot. All right, guys, I gotta cut this, man, because uh, I'm not gonna have a forge door left. I don't know if you can see. Probably you can't. Um, it's it's destroyed that piece of metal just about. It's all warped all over the place. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to stop it now. I'm gonna have to cut it off. But it's it's gotten the same brutality that those ones did. There is no melting so far that I can see. All right, looks still look pretty rigid, but let's let's shut this shit down. Let me see, Shit, son, that's hot. My poor door. Yeah. Yeah, it warped the hell and back. Oh, God almighty, I can't stand close to that. And if that ain't a brutality test, I don't know what the hell is, but I'm surprised that that betonite and cold slag ain't busted the pieces, just crumbled. Let's see if I can touch it. Y'all can't see this, but oh, there's melty stuff on top of it. It's gonna do just like that little hamburger. Uh oh, spaghetti! Oh, I may have found a forge facing. I mean, a refractory facing with easy, cheap materials. This is awesome. Well, we've got some success here. That brick ain't cracked, not from what I can see so far. I don't even see that crack that was in this backside anymore. It is still a solid brick, and there's nothing that has fell off yet. Um, wow. I'm amazed. Y'all can't see that. God, I wish y'all could see that. Will it adjust? No, it's not going to adjust. I don't know how to turn the ISOs down. All right. She started melting in the back, and some of it's stuck in my forge back there, but it'll be all right. Oh, man. Yeah, so it started melting. Now, sodium betonite clay melts at 2100 degrees um, and coal slag melts at 2300 degrees okay so we don't have like a 3000 degree refractor right here now i poured it to it and there was nothing in there to suck heat off of that it was catching it all the refractory in there is mizzou um, it's a 3000 degree refractory so, I think I can use this in the furnace for refractory. I think I can honestly take that Portland and make a very light insulative layer. Uh, probably, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches. And then make some of this as a fire face. And I think it'll be okay. If not, I'm not out of a whole lot of money. So I think we're going to go with it. And it's still hot as hell, but with as hot as it got, you would think that like the Portland, 
it would just break apart. It took a decent little whack there. What do we got in the middle here? It penetrated through, but I still see some gray from the betonite, so it was somewhat pretty reflective. Now, this is sodium betonite. Sodium betonite has alumina in it. I'm wondering if the calcium betonite might not would do better because it is a calcium-based type of betonite. Still has the alumina in it. Still has the silicates in it. But I don't know where to get my hands on uh, calcium betonite. As a matter of fact, I think the clumping cat litter is calcium betonite. I'll have to check that out. But anyhow, it's pretty interesting results here. You know, it's not crumbling. It's breaking apart like it's a brick. And I had to hit it pretty hard while it's hot in order to get it to break. Now, hammer. Hammer time! Yeah, it takes a decent little punch. And you see it's not turning to dust. It is breaking up like concrete. And it's still hot. I'm impressed. All right. We'll use, try to use this as the Fireface and the Portland and uh, that as the insulative portion of it and see what happens. I think it's going to be fine because the heat of the melting the metal should suck most of the heat away. And I shouldn't be melting anything that requires 21 to 2400 degrees. I don't know exactly how hot this got. So, um... Yeah, I think it's going to be just fine. So this is interesting. So that's it for that one. That build's going to be coming up now. I got the vessel cut. I just need to get, you know, everything put together and we'll give all that a, give it a good go and um, see how that goes. But stick around. You never know. You might see some flamethrowing dildo. Who knows? Y'all be well, be safe, love, peace, chicken, grease, catch you guys on the flip side.